Hello and welcome everyone. It is Sunday, February 27th, 2022, and this is a quick update on my Star Wars video I told you I was going to be putting out. I plan on putting it out this weekend, um, but I'm actually going to delay it until next weekend. The reason for that is Star Wars uh, The High Republic 15, the final um, issue in the, in the Phase 1, uh, and the final issue in Eye of the Storm number 2 comes out this Wednesday, March 2nd. And I want to make sure I include what happens in those books in my Star Wars video, so that's why I'm delaying it. But uh, don't worry, it is coming, and boy, there's a ton of good stuff in there. <laughs> and I got, you know, oh, anyways, this, uh, I'll talk about a couple things now, but this um, Star Wars High Republic Trail of Shadows number 5, the one for 25, which is in the center there, I got that at ratio. I got that for 20 bucks. Actually, less than ratio. I got it for 20 bucks. Um, probably a few weeks ago. Man, am I glad I got that because that thing is becoming a ghost. And that is uh, the image in the background there. That is the first cover appearance of the Nameless as far as I understand it. So I hope you got that one, man. I showed that one uh, a while back and uh, it is... Oh, I just... And all this stuff is canon, which is so important. I, I, I keep saying that, but... Um, it's just so important. But anyways, uh, I am going to do it next weekend. Real quick, I did have somebody just today ask me about Lorna D. And this, again, I'll cover all this in my um, video. She is one of the main villains. She's with Marky and Roach, kind of like his right-hand uh, person there. And her first full appearance is in number 8. Or, sorry, in number 10. And number 10 is also your first um, cameo, technically, of the leveler or the nameless in this issue so this is such a good issue if you haven't got 10 it's still a cheap book but that is that is Lorna D's first full appearance uh hang on one second number 10 also has a variant cover with her on the cover this is a really good one to get if you can find that one I'd really recommend you pick that up it's not her first cover appearance for issue one there was uh, you'll see an image on the screen that has her on the cover with another character um both Nihil but um, that's a one for 25, if I'm not mistaken. And that book is really going to go bonkers because she will be in the show. That'll be, um, that'll be a guarantee she will be in there. Um, and this whole story with the Nameless and the Levers and everything else. But um, again, I mean, that's just a taste of what's come. There's so much to talk about in this video. It, I, just be prepared because this video may be like a half hour long. There's just so many books to talk about. The history of stuff. And I posted just recently on... Um, an image from um, issue number four. Uh, hang on one second. I'm just going to go High Republic number four. So I went, there was a couple pages in here that were really bugging me. And, and the one big one is um, the page skier gets infected with the drain gear and everything. And then he's explaining to um, uh, Keeve and a couple others what happened uh, with the history of the, uh, the drain gear and the Sith and everything. And there's obviously a connection. I mean, if you've read this, you know this, but... Um, I showed this page here because what's really interesting, you got these two Sith up in this corner of the page here. And according to um, Disney and Lucasfilm, when Disney took over, there's only a, there's a few Sith that are canon. And although he looks kind of like he's got a similar mask to Darth Nihilus, I'll throw an image of him on the screen. It's not, that's not Darth Nihilus because um, he was part of the triumvirate with... Uh, Treya and Scion, and there's only two of them here, so plus the mask is different. Um, and then you see these two characters here getting infected with the Trangir. So I kind of think, and this is way back in ancient times, so I don't know who they are. Potentially we've got a first appearance of Sith, whether they are or not, I don't know. Again, that the story will get explained as this goes along. But it looks to me like I'm really thinking that these infected Sith um become the nameless so i don't know could we potentially have two nameless of male and female i don't know or just the one because if you look at this guy here he his face looks to me looks similar to the picture of the nameless that shows up in 15 which you're going to see on the screen for a second and you notice he's all red so is it red because it's uh it's kind of a hybrid sith which are red obviously and um train gear because you can see the vines on the um, kind of like a vine Sith combo it, to me that's what it looks like because if you look at this you can see the horn by the ear and just the kind of the shape of the eye and then the black flowing hair which you have on the nameless so I don't know I mean but it sure looks like it to me why else would they put all this stuff in the comic it you know kind of makes sense to me so if you haven't got number four or if you find that sitting on the shelf 
to me, that is a really good one to get, but oh, there's so much to talk about. Anyways. But anyways, <laughs> I'm going to end on that because otherwise I'm going to keep rambling for like an hour. But um, I got some really good stuff to talk about. Um, number seven, that second print. I know I didn't mention that one when I talked about Darth Crawl, but I will because there's more to that than, than I think. Everybody thinks that's first cover appearance of Darth Crawl. It's not. The exclusive uh, for Mike May, who actually came out a couple months prior to that second print coming out. Because the second print didn't come out till about two months after um, the first print of number seven. Uh, it is still a very good one to get because obviously second print's a lower print run. It does have Darth Crawl on the cover and there's some really cool stuff to talk about with that too. So I'll get into that in my next video. But stay tuned, that'll be out next week. Um, I just want to give you a heads up. But oh, I'll have more. I'll go into depth way more on stuff. But geez, it, it's going to be good. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. Anyways, take care. I'll talk to you later in the week. Bye for now.